obviously, um, I think, you know, my team answered the call. Uh, we, we didn't have a great uh, time away from each other after um, that horrible performance of the DC. And, um, you know, we're, we're fixers. And you'll notice the record here lately. We, we don't lose two in a row. But we usually can fix it right away. And to have to sit on that for seven days and um, not be able to fix it right away was frustrating for us. So um, I, I, I'm very proud of the intensity, but it's the competitive nature. And that, you know, that was all that we cared about. Just compete every second of this game. And whatever your task is, just compete and compete and compete and compete. And I do think, you know, when I look at up and down on my roster, I got a bunch of competitors on this team. And if their job is to box out like Sylvia Bullock and just rebound, then she's just going to compete like crazy and do that one job. And Stephanie's a competitive shooter, and she was, you know, she had a different look on her face when she was releasing the ball, and that's it. So if you compete within your roles, and I thought this was one of our most highly competitive efforts on our part because Holy Cross, and I was glad it was Holy Cross. I have a ton of respect for them. They always play big time opponents. Um, they get themselves in the NCAA. They're well coached. They move the ball well, and I knew they wouldn't be intimidated. And I knew that they would be as competitive. Those kids are so competitive, and and, and they, they you know they're usually going to hit more than three for sixteen from the three. They're tough as nails. So I knew there would be that um, match of will, and um, I thought it was really um, a fun game, a fun game to be a part of. This, this past week, what was kind of the message that you kept telling the team? Um, actually, um, the message was um, don't say a word. And we threw them in the film room and did a little montage, did some of the Ray Lewis clip about effort that is on our thing, and then we s spliced in some of our lack of effort and lack of toughness at Georgetown, and then we'd splice in clips of us um, when we did bust our tails in the weight room and on the track and sweating, and, and it was stone quiet. Uh, it was about 25 minutes. Um, that was the message. When, and then I said, when was that? Uh, on the 26th. After... Uh, somewhat tough practice um, that was the last thing and I said message heard and they said yeah and it was stone quiet there was some I mean it was it, I mean, it wasn't I mean it was not the end of the world that we lost the game but we're a passionate team and we're an emotional team and to see the zombies walking around out there um, that had to change uh, Shanice uh, Stephanie, can you talk about the impact that the, the video had on you guys and just what your emotion was going out there today for the game um, well, yeah, uh, like Coach said, it's all about effort, and it's okay to make mistakes, but um, in the end of the day, it's about like how hard you play and just effort and being there for each other. So, so when you were watching that video, what were you thinking? Um, I saw us um, working real hard in the weight room, and I thought just, why are we doing that if we can't do it on the court? You know, just wasting time in the weight room. Um, so, yeah. So we got to do it on the court as well. And practice. How about Shanice? The same thing. When you were watching the video, what, what did that do for you? Um, it definitely instilled a little bit more passion um, inside, inside of us, I feel like. Um, nobody giggled, nobody smiled, nobody smirked. It really hurt us to see us putting in all that work and go out on the court and not show who we are. Um, I think the Ray Lewis film, all we kept saying in practice and um, and like before the game was effort, effort. Like everybody just kept saying all over the place. We were quoting some of the lines of Ray, Ray Lewis beforehand. So it definitely had an impact on us. Shanice, the immediate after effects of that loss, was it frustration, uh, uh, disappointment? What was the immediate? All the above. Uh -huh. It was just, we weren't who we, who we were. It's okay if we, you know, play how we play and do what we do and then lose. You know what I mean? Like, you know, we left it all there on the floor, but we didn't do that at all. Um, we didn't. We had. We had no passion whatsoever. We really were just zombies. No personality whatsoever. So it was just. Why well, put in all that work and not go out there and show the world who we are? Right after that game, was that when? Did you guys have a holiday break? Did you? Mm -hmm. You you left that game and everybody. Yeah. Just that, split. Yeah, they got lucky. <laughs> <laughs> they got lucky on that one. And they know what it's team. We had to do already. We already had the flight. We already had the flight. Gotta go. Gotta fly. Gotta fly. But um, 
They, we had some individual meetings yesterday, and, and one thing about them, you know, this non-conference schedule, it changes, you know, we read, I was with Steph yesterday, we read through last year's non-conference schedule, and I read through this year's, you know, I'm like, this is about growth, honey, like, we, it's, it's okay that that happened to us, and we grow from it, and, and we did, you know, if we were undefeated in the non-conference um, at this point, that would be bad. That's not what we're shooting for. So, so we didn't like how we played with the results. Like Mo said, it's not the result. It's just that all of a sudden, one day, this unbelievably fun, passionate, energized, wonderful group of young ladies, every single one of them had no passion for the game. Can you talk about the performance tonight, the way you guys got the lead on them and kept adding on to it, really didn't let them back? Um, I think it was just about showing that passion that we were just talking about, um, about effort, as we emphasized earlier, and um, just having fun. Like, none of us smiled in, 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 in um, D.C. We didn't smile, we didn't talk, we didn't communicate. And tonight we were high-fiving, we were saying, you know, hit that shot. It was just a, a different spirit out there. Um, it was just definitely just fun, honestly. Do you feel like you guys have your mojo back now as a team to where you were? Yeah, I feel so. Um, Did you see that three she had? Yeah. <laughs> Better get a little closer. <laughs> yeah, but I feel like we we back. That's the good thing about basketball. You can um, maybe fall down like we did. Um, we can rise up and be better. And I think we showed it tonight. We just got to keep it on. Long way to go. Yeah, it's all about the journey this year. It really is. And it's one it game is. at a time. Is it good that you get another game right away tomorrow? I mean, yeah, great opponent, opponent too. Uh, VCU is very, very good. And, and they usually, they probably average an ACC win a year. I mean, they're not going to be at all intimidated by an ACC team. They play it all the time. Um, they've got two players that are amongst the best in the country. And, and we've we got to prepare very, very hard for them in a very short amount of time. But um, we're glad. I, you know, like I said, the Holy Cross does such a great job of ball movement, and that's a challenge for us all the time. If you can really move the ball around on us, then we were running north, south, and east, west, and we're expending a lot of energy. Um, we changed what we did. We didn't actually run our, our traps. We, we just kind of stayed on our, our girl tonight um, to try to throw the rhythm off a little bit. Um, and now we got a completely different preparation within 24 hours. But that's why I'm glad you got a lot of veterans. What's that like having seven days off and then playing a back-to-back? -back? Is that going to yeah. be sore tomorrow? Having uh, yeah, um, they are. They are. Uh, <laughs> I love it. You know, it's a game. No, no, no. It won't be because of this. Yeah. They, they were sore today. They were sore today. How hard was that practice that she's talking about on the 26th? Hard. <laughs> Was it the hard like would you was it the hardest since you guys have been here or was no, there no, no. <laughs> it was more like if you're not doing what you asked to do, you're gonna pay. Yeah. <laughs> and like we needed I feel like we needed that. It was just like mental toughness. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A lot of penalties and a lot of reward. Everything yeah. was scored and everything had a point. And everything, if you won, you got to celebrate. And if you lost, you were doing some things that we usually only do in August and September in terms of fitness. Mm -hmm. You don't usually get your fitness up at the end of December, but that's what it takes. And knowing, playing a, a drill, knowing that that would be the penalty and seeing who, who doesn't choke. Because we just we're competitors, that's naturally who we are, and, and that's what I had to just get to the essence of who they were. And that's a pretty, yeah, good, well, pretty good way. Yeah, really well. yeah. Well, you won all the time. Post post trail, I was running. <laughs> <laughs> you were born that way. <laughs> Shanice, talk to me about being a complete player today. You had 17, 10, and seven. You could easily drop 30 at night if you wanted to, but you want to get your teammates involved. It seems. Um, I just I feel like I just made all the right plays, honestly. Um, if I felt it and I stroked it, and if not, then I was hitting somebody else. Um, I try not to think so much. Um, I just was out there playing, honestly. Thank you.